Federal health officials are warning pregnant women to avoid a popular Florida neighborhood that spawned more than a dozen cases of Zika. This is the first time the Centers for Disease Control has issued a travel, a travel advisory for the virus in the United States. There are 14 locally transmitted cases in or near the Wynwood area of Miami. That's in addition to more than 1,600 travel-related Zika cases across the country. David Begno is in Wynwood, where health officials are struggling to contain the virus. David, good morning. Nora, good morning. Welcome to the Wynwood Walls. This is a tourist spot in an artsy area of South Florida, and it is now the epicenter of what is local Zika spread here in South Florida. What's working this morning is the awareness campaign to tell people it's here and it's being transmitted locally. But what is not working, as well as federal officials had hoped it would, are the chemicals being used to try and kill the mosquito that carries the Zika virus. With more than a dozen cases, this small Miami neighborhood of Wynwood is home to the largest ongoing Zika transmission in the continental U.S. Health officials are struggling to control the Aedes aegypti mosquito, the bug which carries the virus. They've been applying both uh, chemicals to kill larval mosquitoes and adult mosquitoes every day. It isn't working as well as we had hoped. That could be because some of the mosquitoes are resistant to those insecticides. Dr. Tom Frieden, the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, says the mosquito only travels about 164 yards in its lifetime, but it moves quickly. It's been referred to as the cockroach of mosquitoes. It lives indoors and outdoors. It can breed or hatch in a, in a few drops of water. The eggs can last for months and uh, it can bite four or five people at once, so it spreads the disease rapidly. In the last two weeks, 14 Zika cases have been identified as locally transmitted in two South Florida counties. 12 of those infections are with men. The virus is most dangerous, though, with pregnant women. According to the CDC, women who have Zika symptoms should wait at least two months before trying to get pregnant. Infected men should wait at least six months before trying to have a child. Dr. Diego Schmuel says he's ramping up testing for all pregnant women at his Miami clinic. Your clinic is right inside the Zika zone. Basically, we just started to make sure that all pregnant women, symptomatic or asymptomatic, are going to get tested for the Zika virus. Health officials say about half of those infected in the Wynwood area were asymptomatic. You don't have no fever. You didn't have nothing. Rosemary Jean says her father Gabriel is one of them. He said he feel all right. He didn't feel no nothing. If you were a pregnant woman who's visited this Wynwood area dating back as far as June 15th, you were being urged to get a pregnancy test. Women living in this area, all of them, whether they're symptomatic or not, are all being urged to get tested. And if you visit here, long sleeves and DEET. In fact, as one mosquito expert told me, DEET should be Miami's new perfume. All right, David, thank you so much.